Today marks the day of EDS Awareness Month, the condition known as ehlers danlos Syndrome. And this genetic connected tissue disorder uh, holds a special place in our hearts because this is primarily what we see at our facility. Uh, we understand how it impacts not just the person's life, how it affects the families, the caregivers, the loved ones. And because the condition is so complex, it, it's, it, it presents in so many different ways that can present one way for one person, but present a completely opposite way for another. And um, I don't think people really have a full grasp on what the condition really entails. And so today we're gonna talk a little bit more about that, just to give you a little bit of insight on uh, those with this condition, go through um, you know, what they need to specifically work on. Maybe there's things related to how they get into groups. So the first thing is that we understand that this is a connective tissue disorder, so it affects the entire body, whether it's your joints, your skin, your muscles, and all those things, okay? But there's a lot of secondary things that are associated with it. So it's not just, yes, I'm hypermobile, meaning, uh, you know, a lot of people will be able to touch their thumb to their forearm, or maybe they can, um, you know, put their legs over their head. There's a lot of different things that constitute that some sort of hypermobility, but um, when we look deeper into it, how it affects our patients, you know, because it affects the tissue, it affects the organs, you know, affects the brain, it affects, uh, you know, pelvic floor. There's a lot of different things that it affects that uh, not too many people are aware of. So when we think about that, someone with EDS could have stomach issues. They could have, you know, chronic constipation. They could have um, things related to IBS. And maybe those with the condition with pelvic floor issues deal with prolapses or, or pain. Um, you know, those with maybe more on the area where it's more like the joints, they have chronic shoulder subluxations or chronic knee pain or back pain. Um, so when you really think about just these general ones, that's a lot for one person to, to take on on a daily basis without getting the appropriate treatments, whether it's pharmaceutical, whether it's uh, holistic, whether it's PT, OT, chiropractor, whatever that might be. So it's important to understand that, yes, it presents differently, but also it's important to understand what else comes with it? Because typically what happens, it's not really just ever the loose joints, maybe the stomach issues. There's some autonomic things going on. And you know, our, our autonomic nervous system controls, you know, our heart rate and blood pressure, things that are more involuntary. So when we think about that, now we're thinking about, you know, do I have this condition plus another secondary condition, whether it's POTS, whether it's dysautonomia, maybe it's a little bit more extensive and you have Chiari uh, malformations or uh, you know, MCAS, so those kind of things. And so when you really look at the group as a whole, there's a lot of work that each individual needs and there's a lot of care. And so without understanding that there's so many aspects and they need so much more support to get to the right people, because there's not a lot of specialists here in the U.S., let alone the entire world, it's important that we let everyone know, okay, not just ourselves. We're one facility that works with EDS. Um, there's, you know, other facilities in different states, but when when we look at the bigger picture, there's less than like a, two handfuls of, of clinicians that really specialize, that really focus all their time and research to this condition. Uh, you know, I know right now we're doing our own research specifically to the brain to see, are there different ways that we can approach this condition to help their overall external uh, presentation? So, you know, maybe someone with arm pain or shoulder pain, Maybe that issue is not really just in the elbow. Maybe there's something going on in the brain that it's not allowing to connect to those muscles to contract, to keep those joints stable. So there, there are various theories, but there's things that you want to get with people that are on the forefront of, of this condition. And if you know someone who has this, get them the right resources. So um, because we know that there's like 13 different types or some sub subcategories, it's really hard to diagnose. So getting with the good geneticist, um, getting with the good... PCP that has some awareness of it, but just like anything else, when, when there's a condition that's very complex, you want to get with someone who's very specific and really understands that condition. Um, it could be the same thing as general, like maybe someone who has a shoulder issue. You can't go to a foot specialist if you have shoulder issues. So it's the same concept, but ultimately we want to bring awareness, let people know that we're here as just one resource that's out there. Um, and then for those that are around you, loved one, friends, family members, uh, to give them the support with the, these, you know, the, the, the population that has this condition is really need of support, both from a physical and mental standpoint, because we know the impact that it has on our psyche as well, 
of stress and anxiety and depression because of pain and some other things. So ultimately, we're here for you. You have a big uh, support group, not just here in Facebook groups and Instagram, uh, like clinicians. I mean, just find good resources. And then we're always here to help answer questions. It's not anything that we're limiting any information. If we know someone that can help out, we'll definitely do so. But for everyone else, May, celebrate EDS Awareness.